Hi guys, I'm gonna be working on freezer cooking. I have about a five pound package of chicken. I'm gonna split up into three different meals for the freezer. It's nice to have freezer meals ready to go at any given time, so on days you're really busy or just don't feel like cooking, you can take something out, pop it in the oven, heat it up, and dinner is pretty much ready to go. So I like to try to be prepared and have things ready. And so I'm gonna be making chicken fajitas a chicken broccoli with rice cauliflower casserole and a chicken bacon ranch casserole and all these meals are considered low carb so that's what i'm sharing in this video let's get to it So my chicken is ready to go. I just cooked it in my pressure cooker and it doesn't take much time in there at all. So the first meal I'm going to be making is chicken fajitas. And to save a little extra time, I'm just going to use a bag of pepper onion blend that I purchased. You can definitely chop up your own onions and bell peppers but I just find this is easier on the budget and it's definitely much faster. So I'm just gonna mix that in with the chicken and start adding my spices. For the seasonings, I'm using a mixture of onion powder, cumin, garlic powder, paprika, chili powder, and pepper. And you can also, of course, add salt to taste and whatever seasonings you prefer. These are just the ones I chose to use. The chicken fajita mixture was ready to go. I placed a little bit over half into an 8x8 foil pan. This will be wrapped up and placed into the freezer for a later time. When we're ready to use it, I will just warm it back up in the oven and serve it with tortilla shells or a salad. And then what we had left over, we actually use for lunch. This recipe is actually a low carb take off of the chicken broccoli rice casserole. This one uses rice cauliflower. I'm actually following a recipe for this one. So I will have the recipe for this linked in the description below if you'd like to check it out further. This recipe is very simple to make. It doesn't take a ton of ingredients and we actually really like it. In fact, this is the second time I've made it in a very short period of time. Mm -hmm. 
So basically this recipe uses broccoli, chicken, riced cauliflower, a few seasonings, some cream cheese, and that's pretty much it. You place it in a pan, add some cheese to the top, and it's ready to go. And like I said, I'll have the recipe linked in the description so you can get the actual measurements and all of that if you'd like to check this one out further. The next meal I'm making for the freezer is kind of a chicken bacon ranch casserole and I'm making this because our daughter really likes chicken bacon ranch pizza and I thought why can't I turn that into some sort of casserole so it's ready to go. She could put it on pizza or bread or a roll or something like that or just eat it with a salad. So we did some searching and kind of brainstorming and came up with this. So basically it's chicken, some broth, a packet of ranch seeds seasoning which I think I could have used less maybe half of the packet for this depending on how much chicken and all that you use and then I added some cream cheese and then I will put that into a casserole pan add some cheddar cheese and I will sprinkle crushed up bacon on top And I'm just gonna cook the bacon in the oven on a sheet pan lined with parchment paper. I just find this is one of the easiest ways to cook bacon. So I'm just adding my chicken cream cheese mixture into another foil pan and then I will add some shredded cheddar cheese to the top of that. And then when my bacon has cooled, I will put some of the chopped up bacon onto the top as well. I will cover this one up and freezer meal number three will be ready to go as well. So I'm really happy that I have three extra meals ready to go in the freezer at any time and it didn't take me very long to get these made. And if you're new to my channel, I share a lot of budget friendly DIY home and lifestyle content. If you like that sort of thing, if you enjoyed this video, I would love it if you hit subscribe and hung around. If you did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up, a like, a comment to let me know and thanks for watching.